Winning consistently is hard, but establishing a winning tradition over decades is one of the most difficult endeavors in sports. In 2022, the New England Patriots missed the postseason for only the fourth time since 2000. After rebounding from a one and three start, they were in position to make the playoffs entering their final game. However, a loss to the Bills and other results from across the league left the Patriots on the outside looking in. The NFL goes on and will next week. The Patriots will not as they end their second losing season in a span of three years. One tough season does not define a franchise. Over the past three decades, the New England Patriots have more wins, playoff appearances, and more championships than any other franchise in the NFL. Their success has been built upon an owner's stability and a head coach's commitment to molding winners. Gone to the end zone! Pressured. Got him. Sacked. 43-yard dagger down the left sideline. And there's a record-tying sack for New England. Good pocket. Good pocket. Great job. Keep fighting, fellas. The kid who had nine touchdown returns in his collegiate career runs it back for the Patriots. Stability is what has strengthened the team in the past and is what will carry it forward into the future. Since purchasing the Patriots in 1994, Owner Robert Kraft has overseen the rise of one of the most dominant franchises in NFL history. Under his leadership, New England has won 349 games. The Patriots have reached the playoffs 22 times, captured 19 division titles, and claimed 33 playoff wins, 10 conference titles, and six Super Bowl championships. In a career marked by milestones, Kraft reached yet another one in Pittsburgh. Kraft celebrated his 500th game as an NFL owner with the victory over the Steelers. comes into Pittsburgh today, and the Steelers have their home opener spoiled by New England. <laughs> what I tell you, man? Nice it's job, bro. Oh, we got a lot of big wins here in Pittsburgh. All right, had a lot of big wins here. I think it's fitting that, you know, this one comes on Mr. Kraft's 500th game. <laughs> A big reason for Kraft's success has been the stability he found in head coach Bill Belichick. Belichick is currently the longest tenured coach in the NFL. In the running game, almost everything has been from the tight end side. Just hang in there now, right? Oh, no penalty. 2022 marked his 23rd season as the Patriots' head coach. Against the Jets, the six-time Super Bowl champion reached another milestone in a stellar career. Behind a defense that forced three turnovers and with Nick Folk's five field goals, Belichick rose to second place in all-time victories as a head coach. And head coach Bill Belichick has recorded his 325th career win that now gives him sole possession of second place behind only Don Shula in all-time head coaching victories. He's the number two all-time coach in the 103-year history of the league. Our coach, Bill Bucks. In 2022, the Patriots excelled as an opportunistic defense. They were first in the NFL with a team record seven defensive touchdowns and finished third with 54 sacks. Linebacker Matthew Judon was a pass-rushing menace. 
He set a career high with 15 and a half sacks. Judon has finished with double digit sacks in both of his seasons with New England. He's unblockable right now. Fellow linebacker Josh Uche was the perfect complement with 11 and a half sacks, including two three sack games. Finishing him off on the play, Josh Uche. Another one. Juwan Bentley became the first Patriot with at least 120 tackles since 2012, setting a career best with 122. He also picked off his first pass since his rookie year. The linebackers, along with the defensive front of Jelani Tavai, Dietrich Wise Jr., Devon Godshaw, Lawrence Guy, and Christian Barmore set the tone against the Colts. He's under pressure. He's going to be sacked yet again. The pass rush was relentless, sacking Colts quarterbacks nine times, tying for the most sacks in a game under Bill Belichick. Got him. You get one, you get one, you get one. Oh, I have to get a part of it. You got one? <laughs> Oprah, we got nine so They're handing them out. Special teams added a blocked punt. And it's blocked. It's blocked by the Patriots. What a rush by Jones off the corner. While the secondary returned an interception for a touchdown. Elliger, he's pressured to throw. Gospel tip. It picked off by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots in a runaway over the Colts, 26-3. The defensive domination continued in Arizona. McCoy in trouble, steps up, and sack. Oh, my! Gorgeous! The Patriots finished with six sacks and another defensive score. Hopkins crossing near side. Balls oh. a punch loose! It's going to be picked up by the Patriots. Down the right side. Running into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Raekwon McMillan. This one, for all intents and purposes, is over. Pressure up front led to big plays on the backside. Give me that. There you go. New England finished first in the AFC with 30 takeaways. Cornerback Jonathan Jones played a role in forcing six turnovers, including a career-high four interceptions. Flings it downfield, intercepted. Jonathan Jones has it. Rising across the 40. Ball is tipped and then intercepted by Jonathan Jones along the far side. And the Patriots take over. Jack Jones was a high-level rookie at corner who made his mark in style. His first career interception came against Aaron Rodgers in Lambeau and was returned for a touchdown. Jack Jones with the pick six in his rookie debut, his first start in an NFL game. Good for him. Jalen Mills finished with five passes defensed and two interceptions, despite playing in only 10 games. Ellinger throws down the middle, ball tipped by Mills. Who's playing with me? I mean business. Mills with some great coverage here today. Safety Kyle Duggar became the first Patriot to score three defensive touchdowns in a season since 1970. Anticipating Duggar, walks in, touchdown! Duggar jumps it, and it's pick six. Duggar also played a role in four of New England's team record's seven defensive touchdowns. To the end zone. He took it to the house again. Third touchdown returned by Duggar. Second on a pick six. They win against the Dolphins by a 23-21 final. The defense was at its best against the Lions. Yeah! Let's make it <laughs> Let's go, folks. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Detroit went 0 for 6 on fourth down. 
They're going to go for it on fourth and two. The Lions entered the game with the NFL's number one offense and left as victims of the 31st shutout in Patriots history. Goff fumbles. It's scooped up. Duggar has it. Foot race to the 35-30. Duggar's in the clear to the 10. End zone bound. High stepping. Touchdown, New England. Yeah! I love it. I love it. And that's how you do it. And that's how you do it. That's what this comes down to. First, second, third down. You beat the man across from me. Let's go dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. A successful offense is a product of its offensive line. In 2022, the Patriots O-line was anchored with veterans Connor McDermott, David Andrews, Michael Wenu, and Trent Brown, along with rookie Cole Strange. Together, they paved the way for running back Ramondre Stevenson. In 2022, Stevenson ran for more than 1,000 yards for the first time in his career. He became the first Patriot back to hit the mark since 2016. Hand off to Stevenson, runs his left big hole across the 40, cuts left at the 45, and steamrolls the defender there. A give to Stevenson, runs it through the right side, big hole, bounces outside 20, goodbye, to the 10, to the 5, and zone bound! The tough runner also proved to have fleet feet as a receiver out of the backfield. He finished with a team-best 69 receptions. The kid is such a funny player, meeting Stevenson. With the one hand, the right-handed snag. Quarterback Mac Jones built upon his successful rookie year in 2021. Number 10 is proving to be an accurate passer. His 66.5 completion percentage ranks second all-time among quarterbacks through their first two seasons. Good job by Jones. Spin it so quickly. And there's your touchdown. While Jones prefers to use his arm, he can be light on his feet. Mac Jones with his first career rushing touchdown. He got the gritty going. Got a little twist to it. When called upon, rookie quarterback Bailey Zappi played with the poise of a veteran. How's that arm strength? He stuck that one in there. What a read. Yo, Zappy really nice, bro. Against the Browns, Zappy threw for a career best 309 yards. Tight end Hunter Henry and rookie receiver Tyquan Thornton provided support with a pair of touchdowns. Throws it near side, wide open. Henry at the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Waltzing into the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots! Tyquan Thornton! Running back Ramondre Stevenson added another pair of touchdowns as the Patriots made easy work of the Browns. the middle, run by Stevenson, a cut left out of a tackle, gone to the 10, gone to the 5, gone to the end zone, touchdown, Patriots! With the 27th pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots liked Devin McCourty. 2022 marked the final season in Devin McCourty's career. For 13 seasons, McCourty was an emotional and physical leader on defense. With you. Turn your back, I turn my back. We defend each other's back. All day, fellas. Adversity's here. What does it look like? What does this group do today? Show up, fellas. Show up for each other. For this circle. Let's dominate today, fellas. Dominate on three. One, two, three. McCourty excelled in the defensive backfield, 
and was named All-Pro at both corner and safety. Back to throw, looks, fires up the field, and it is taken away at the 25-yard line. So the interception goes Devin McCourty. He was voted team captain for 12 consecutive seasons. Second down and eight, a lot of time. Rifles down the right side. McCourty picks it off. What a read by Devin McCourty. McCourty sees this so early. He read the eyes of Joe Flacco perfectly. He played a pivotal role in the Patriots getting to five Super Bowls and was crowned a Super Bowl champion three times. Congrats, coach. Nice going, man. That's why I hang in there, buddy. Devin McCourty bids farewell having started 205 games as a Patriot, which is third all time. Longtime special team captain Matthew Slater will return for his 16th season with New England in 2023. He returns as the only player in NFL history to be named to the Pro Bowl 10 times as a special teamer. Look, I know we're not big on individual awards around here, all right, but last week and then this week now, again, Matt Slater. Slate? Second, second most games ever played by a New England Patriot. Following in Slater's footsteps is Brendan Schooler. The undrafted free agent led the team with 14 tackles on special teams. He also recovered a pair of muffed punts. Brendan Schooler, the starting gunner opposite Matt Slater, downfield on the muff. New England may have found another diamond in the rough in Marcus Jones. Jones was named All-Pro as a punt returner, becoming the first rookie in team history to be named AP First Team All-Pro. Jones also became only the fourth player in NFL history to score on offense, defense, and special teams in the same season. It's going to be picked off left sideline Marcus Jones. Sprints to the 50. Sprints to the 40. He's gone to the 30. Hit by P. Ryan. Stays on his feet. Stays in bounds to the 10. Marcus Jones will get ahead to the 40. 35 30, 25 20. The rookie is loose to the 10. The rookie scores. Another highlight to his season reel. What a kid. His big moment came in the closing seconds of a tie game against the division rival, New York Jets. We're tied at three, 26 seconds to go. Pressure free punt, and it's a good one. Forcing Jones to backpedal right side of the 16th. Stab left, ran it right down the sideline to the 40, to the 50. Slats left at the 45, beats the punter to the 35 30. Marcus Jones down the middle to the 10, into the end zone. No flags. Touchdown, Patriots. And the special teams wins it for you. Almost in a walk-off. 84 yards on the return by Marcus Jones. The kid who had nine touchdown returns in his collegiate career. Holy crap! Runs it back for the Patriots. The most dynamic! He's the double one! The most dynamic! That's how you win. That's how you win. A 14th straight over the Jets. All I got to say, Cam, is... Red Vice yeah. to the house. Yeah. <laughs> How do we feel about taking them just down yet again? Oh, yeah. After missing out on the playoffs, 2022 was a difficult year in New England. However, history has shown that the Patriots do not stay down for long. The offseason has brought new talent to the team. 
on offense, the Patriots signed wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, who excels at gaining yardage after the catch. Mike Gesicki gives the Patriots a tight end that can create mismatches on the outside. Riley Reef is a former first-round pick who provides depth on the offensive line. The New England Patriots like Christian Gonzalez. In the first round of the 2023 draft, the Patriots landed cornerback Christian Gonzalez. Gonzalez has the size and speed necessary to compete at a high level in an NFL defensive backfield. Defensive end Keon White is a versatile player able to line up in multiple spots, and he gives the team another talented pass rusher. New England may have mined another small school gem in third round pick linebacker Marte Mapu. Mapu impressed at the Senior Bowl and became the highest draft pick ever from Sacramento State. As with every season, 2023 will bring change to New England. But what remains is the stability of a winning franchise. A stability that will provide the strength needed to return to the winning form the Patriots are revered for. We'll be back. We know that and have a better record and get back into the playoffs.